actually, now that the season's finished, how do you reflect on the, the campaign as a whole? Pretty successful, I think. Um, I think, obviously, we started slow, <coughs> as everyone knows, and we, we got stronger as, they, as the season went on. Um, I thought we um, had some exciting uh, games down here last year, some really good performances uh, that people remember for years to come. Obviously, the final hurdle was a disappointment. But when you reflect on the Bogner game as a whole, can you take it with a bit more pride than maybe the Easter game the year before? Yeah, I think the narrowness of um, the defeat in 2-1 and the fact that um, I, I thought that the East Farrett game, we literally didn't, didn't turn up at all. <coughs> um, they scored three goals in about 15 minutes. Um, and literally, I don't think we offered much um, as a team in the final. So that was easy to forget. But um, the Bogner game, I didn't think it was so... Uh, <clears throat> one sided I thought that um, the goals that came was in a bad time and a bad situation for us but um, apart from that I thought it was a competitive game and probably could have got another way if we scored the first goal I think 10 of the 11 players that started the final and Sanchez on the bench have played 50 or more games this season Ibrahim probably would have played 50 as well but for his injury mm. how great an achievement is that from your squad? Great <laughs> to get that sort of uh, mileage <clears throat> out of the boys is uh, fantastic I mean um, normally you'll get maybe 30 uh, 35 is an average uh, going through the team but uh, the boys we signed this year are boys who want to play uh, leaving them out wasn't easy uh, this season because they all want, they all wanted to play football um, and, and getting the service out of them cup games league games was great You alluded to that players maybe didn't get to play this year at the start mm. at the end of the season you had the likes of Kwai Taylor Jamie Maskell Demarca Akinyemi <coughs> uh, Erskine Karoma Kamara all on the bench shows yeah. what a great strength and depth we had this year Yeah definitely um, all of them could start in the team. Um, very good players, good personalities as well. Um, they they ended up <coughs> being the sort of guys who could uh, make a difference in the game uh, coming off the bench, but easily could have been a, a role reversal. And I think when you get to around March, February, March, you start looking at who's in good form to, to lead you into the end of the season, and, and it ended up being uh, the boys who, who, who finished the season. Go back to last summer and the pre-season, it was a pretty good pre-season overall. The players you brought in, you'd ripped up the squad from the season before. Why was that? I thought talent-wise we had a, a good squad this season before, but um, I just didn't think it was a together group, uh, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was a group that was um, really pushing in the, in the right direction <coughs> for me. I think individually, on their merits, good players, but um, as a group, I didn't feel the energy was uh, addressing what was going to push us over the line or improve on what we had. <clears throat> there wasn't a great, a great spirit, uh, a spirit that what we like in our changing rooms. Uh, even when you win or lose, we're together. Um, I thought this season um, we brought lads in that we thought we could, uh, we could uh, harness that. And the players you brought in, because you worked with a lot of them as youngsters in the Aspire Academy, is that the reason you brought them in? Because they would buy into your work ethic and they would be a together group of players? Yeah, I think they've been with us through um, highs and lows in the past. Um, so they know us and they know, um, you know, there could be a, a, an overreaction on the day, but they would know that <clears throat> it doesn't mean we dislike them. It doesn't mean um, we're overly upset with them. It's just a, a 5 p.m. reaction. And literally uh, at 6 p.m. we're back to to normal, um, and it's important that people understand that, and people understand us uh, that we're passionate people. But apart from that, um, all of our players were very appreciative of what they do for us out on the pitch. The amount of times, particularly the second half of the season, they bounce back in games. I think to the Royston game, uh, yeah. the 20 minutes at Whitehawk, the way we bounce back against Billy Ricky having lost. Mm. Would you describe them as almost like a band of brothers this season? Definitely. Um, it's a great uh, close-knit group <clears throat> uh, like I say they're not always going to play brilliantly but who is and the, the good thing about about them was that they had a bit of a steel uh, strength uh, they push on even when we probably weren't you know we weren't deserving of a result but they'd show uh, that sort of uh, character that you need to be successful and I think from November onwards that, that became apparent Inevitably, every season there's going to be a few players that maybe it doesn't work out for. This year we had the likes of Sandy, only got a couple of games. Alfred Magabo never made it into the first team in the end because of his injuries. Uh, Dan Carr left as well, Cadell, Roman, Reese. Mm. What was the reason that just, there was a talented players just didn't work out for them maybe this year? Sure, very talented players. Um, players that um, have done well in the league afterwards, um, league above after. <clears throat> so there's nothing um, 
against their talent. I feel that we, um, the type of players that you're talking about, were literally in forward areas, most of them um, in wide areas, and that was the way we'd set the group up. And we wasn't getting a lot of um, fruit from setting up the team in that in that way. Um, uh, it wasn't an individual thing. It was just a, a thing that we looked at and thought it's probably not working. We need to reconstruct the way the team plays. We still had good talented players, and we. We, we shaped it a little bit differently, that's all. So <clears throat> they were casualties, but um, not really down to ability, just more down to what was right for the group. Having finished pre season, as I said earlier, it was pretty successful overall, the, the results. That first game at Sudbury must have been going in a lot of confidence. Did you envisage the start of the season that you had coming and coming along? Because it was a very slow start to the season, not that some of you used to. No, it isn't. Like I say, normally we, we get off uh, really, really well, we, we fly out the traps. Um, I think we're known for that, to be fair. So the start was was poor, and it literally was never ending. To be honest, we were expecting a, a change any any week soon, and it, it literally was never ending. To a point that we actually literally had to, you know, dig deep and change our our outcomes of what we're trying to achieve. Um, there were smaller outcomes just to get to where we got to in the end. Was there a genuine concern from your <coughs> end that you even get the top five this year at some point? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, teams in the league probably could have capitalised on, on our uh, bad slot a little bit more. And if they had done, it would have been out of our, our grasp to get back in. So um, it's all right sitting there saying, oh, we, we thought we'd get back in, the, you know, in the top five and that. But um, at, the, at the point, if they had done their jobs, other teams, we wouldn't have been nowhere to be seen. And, and that's a fact. But um, that's not taking anything away from our, our performances. Our performances were good. Uh, we came out strong. I thought we showed um, really good form, like league winning form, uh, from sort of December onwards. But it it came late. Uh, one watershed moment you could say was that defeat here against Harrow back in uh, the end of September. Obviously, it was a shock. I think we won six one the weekend before against mm, Folks and then yeah. lost that game. You <coughs> called it a disgusting performance afterwards, and then you went and got in the next three weeks Ibra, Didi, and Vass. Was that the kick up the backside the players needed just to push on for the rest of the season? Yeah, it was. Um I thought the the players that played on that night didn't do well for themselves, didn't do well for the club. Um, and I looked at them and thought they could probably do this again. <clears throat> and that was uh, one defeat too much and, and, and the style of the defeat as well. I mean, it was pretty painful to watch. So um, because we, it, looked, it looked like they were capable of doing that again and again, we obviously just realised that that was enough and we had to do something about it. And... Um, I think we made the right decisions in the end.